Great, so we are now on chapter uh, 5.7. We are now looking at communicating about measurement. Uh, and this is a pretty tricky lesson if, you, um, if you're not really used to units. So we took a really easy problem and we're just gonna analyze it a little bit and figure out how to use units um, to solve our problem. So Sarah's adding carpet and molding or border to her bedroom. The dimensions of the room are 10 meters by two meters. And the price of the carpet is $1.25 per square meter. And the price of the molding is 50 cents per square meter. What is the total cost of the room? I'm assuming it's the total cost of the carpeting and the border in the room. So first of all, we have to find the carpet so or the border. So we can look at two different things. The carpet is really the same as the area. So the carpet will be the area of the room, whereas the border that goes around the room is the perimeter. So the border or the molding will be perimeter. So let's calculate first then the area. So area of a rectangle is equal to base times height or length times width. And I know the base is 10 meters times the width is 2 meters. Now if we look at how we analyze this, 10 times 2 is 20 and meters times meters is meters squared. If we look at the perimeter, perimeter of the rectangle is equal to the sum of the sides. So if we add up the sides, I have 10 meters plus 2 meters plus 10 meters plus 2 meters. I have four numbers because there are four sides. 10 plus 10 plus 2 plus 2 is 24 meters. Notice that meters plus meters is still meters. Now, we need to find the total cost of the room, so we have to look at the cost of the carpet and the cost of the border. Well, so that means we look for the cost is equal to price times the area of the room. So the price we were given is $1.25. So just take a look at this unit. It costs $1.25 for each squared meter. It's quite important to look at this unit. We looked at this earlier in Chapter 2 in our ratios. So I'm just going to highlight this again in yellow just so that we are certain that we um, note that unit. And then we multiply that by 20 meters squared. Now what happens is when we multiply numbers, so 1.25 times 20, so if I pull up the calculator, 1.25 times 20, I get 25 is my number, but now let's look at my units. I have dollars over meters squared times meters squared. What happens is when I have a meter squared at the bottom or whatever unit is at the bottom, and I have a unit also that's the same unit at the top, so this is something over something, and this is at the top of it, then these two will cancel out and I am left with just the dollars. So these are how units will cancel out. If I have one at the top or a regular one, and then I have that's one on the bottom, a per kind of unit, then I notice that those will cancel out to, and leave the remaining unit there. So the cost of just the carpet, this is the carpet itself, is $25. So let's now look at the cost of the border. If you want to pause the video and fill out the rest of this statement and see if you can understand how to write down the proper units in this one. So the cost of the border is equal to the price times the perimeter of this um, of the shape. The price of it is 50 cents per meter. So it's 0 0.50 dollars and it's not per meter squared, it's only meter. So this helps us actually know that the molding is a perimeter or a distance, whereas the carpet was an area. So $0.50 dollars per meter times, and we look at the perimeter, it was 24 meters. So $0.50 dollars per meter times 24. So 0 0.5 times 24 is 12. Something over dollars over meters times meters, the meters will cancel out and I am left with dollars. So then the total cost of both the carpet and the border is $25 plus $12 equals very inexpensive renovation for this room. It only costs $37 to renovate this room. It's a great price. So take a look at the units. Review this a little bit when we're working on these problems to make sure that our units are are. Uh, correctly noted and correctly cancelled out so that you're remaining with the 
uh, with the left over unit that's not canceled out. So we'll review this again in class, but hopefully you understood this lesson.